For me, Sam Warburton was always the obvious captain. I think um, grown up and learnt the role back in 2013 under Paul O'Connell and Brian O'Driscoll. I think he saw the impact that players, captains can have, um, strong characters. I think he has evolved that and he's got that experience now which is so important. So already the process is accelerated into this tour because of the experience from the last. Warren Gatland trusts him. He's been his captain for Wales for six years. So I think there's a, a very important dynamic there which you can't underestimate. And he's, of all the players I think, or could have been in the captaincy role, pretty much guaranteed a test match spot. He's been playing well enough to be the number one in his position. And I think that also is important that your captain is the player that will lead you at the very sharp end of the tour. I think the challenges he will face will be the competition internally for back row positions, having said that he is the number one choice at the moment, I think, from the way he's been playing. But also the challenge every time he plays in New Zealand, because the gold medal super positions in New Zealand is seven, and the back row, that's your superstars. To a New Zealander, they'll talk about their perfect rugby position, it's back row. So he will be coming up against, every time he plays, against outstanding back row players who'll be trying to make their mark. That's what he'll have to contend with um, every time he puts the Lions jersey on, and particularly when it's number seven on his back.